Japan's Moon Sniper Mission spacecraft has etched its name in history by flawlessly touching down on the lunar surface, making Japan the fifth nation to achieve this feat. Japan has become the fifth country to land a spacecraft on the moon. This monumental achievement showcased groundbreaking technology poised to redefine our understanding of space exploration. Yet, amid the jubilation, a mysterious revelation emerged about the probe, sparking widespread intrigue and controversy. It appears there's more to this mission than meets the eye. But what mysteries lie within? And what secrets has NASA been hiding? Join us as we explore Japan's moon sniper mission and how we've finally found what NASA has been hiding. JAXA Space Lunch On January 19th, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. JAXA achieved a remarkable milestone by successfully landing its specially designed probe, SLIM, on the surface of the moon. This incredible accomplishment positioned Japan as only the fifth country in history to achieve such a feat. The journey towards this achievement began in 2005 with the inception of the project to develop a small lunar landing experiment satellite. By 2013, SLIM emerged as one of the seven focal missions for the International Space Station, ISS. Fast forward to April 2016, SLIM officially became a JAXA project, with Mitsubishi taking on the responsibility of constructing the spacecraft. The primary objective of this mission was to evaluate a novel landing technology, aiming to demonstrate a precise and accurate pinpoint landing technique that could revolutionize future space exploration endeavors. This pioneering project promised to leave an indelible mark on the trajectory of space exploration, SLIM's most significant achievement. SLIM's voyage to the moon spanned approximately four months, embarking on its journey alongside the Gray Imaging and Spectroscopy mission XRISM. Upon parting ways with XRISM, SLIM altered its course, setting its sights on entering lunar orbit. By December 25, 2023, it gracefully achieved lunar orbit, culminating in one of the most flawless moon landings ever observed. Moon landings historically grappled with the challenge of pinpoint accuracy, prompting the conception of the smart lander for investigating the moon. This innovative concept aimed to leverage cutting-edge technology for precise lunar landings. The outcome of this mission would determine if the space exploration community possessed a groundbreaking method for landing with utmost accuracy, not just on the moon, but on any celestial body. NASA and other space agencies had shifted their focus from merely landing anywhere on the moon to landing precisely at predetermined locations. Fortunately, on January 19th, the mission achieved a pivotal breakthrough as the lander executed an impeccably precise soft landing at its intended target site. This triumph marked a significant advancement in space exploration capabilities. The Challenges In Lunar Landing Despite the probe's gentle landing, a power predicament arose. The solar panel, designed to soak in sunlight for recharging, faced an unintended direction due to the landing's orientation. Consequently, SLIM couldn't replenish its power supply. JAXA's ground crew had to resort to backup batteries and hastily dispatched two rovers to explore and assess the lunar surface. Meanwhile, the multi-band spectroscopic camera, MBC aboard SLIM, managed to capture some images. These snapshots provided valuable insights into the lunar terrain. Analyzing the data from MBC, JAXA concluded that the lander hadn't suffered significant damage upon touchdown easing concerns. Opting to leave the probe on the moon, JAXA patiently awaited the sun's adjustment, which would align the solar panels for optimal charging. Notably, a lunar day spans 14 Earth days, underscoring the prolonged duration of sunlight and darkness on the moon. This temporal rhythm highlights the unique challenges and opportunities presented by lunar exploration, where time operates on a vastly different scale compared to Earth. Initially, JAXA planned to operate the probe for a minimum of two weeks, relying on solar power. However, following the unforeseen crash landing, their strategy shifted to patiently await the conclusion of the lunar day. Once the sun's rays aligned with the solar panel's direction, JAXA could harness its power for the probe's operations. This adaptive approach showcased by the Japanese mission underscores the feasibility of achieving precise landings on the moon. Moreover, 
It highlights the capability of executing gentle landings, a task even challenging for esteemed agencies like NASA. Notably, during NASA's Apollo missions, landing accuracy was not a priority, unlike JAXA's meticulous planning. JAXA's endeavor not only demonstrates technological prowess, but also emphasizes the importance of resilience and adaptability in space exploration. Consider Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's experience during the Apollo 11 mission. They encountered numerous challenges while attempting to land the lunar capsule. Communication glitches with the base and multiple alarming signals indicated failures in the automatic landing systems. Armstrong had to assume manual control to navigate the module to the surface. Despite his efforts, they ended up in an entirely wrong location. Comparatively, Slim's precision landing is a remarkable feat. Recent lunar landing attempts have often resulted in failures or crashes at unplanned sites. However, SLIM managed a controlled descent, allowing for the deployment of rovers. To illustrate, imagine a rocket losing one of its engines mid-flight. In the worst-case scenario, it would crash and burn, while the best-case scenario involves an emergency landing at a nearby location. Remarkably, despite losing a nozzle, Slim still achieved a flawless landing on target. This success has earned Japan considerable recognition among nations exploring the moon. It showcases Japan's expertise and determination in space exploration, setting a high standard for future lunar missions. In the 21st century, only China has achieved a successful moon landing, sparking curiosity about why modern moon missions struggle with landings when NASA accomplished lunar landings 50 years ago. Many skeptics question this discrepancy, prompting scientists to propose various theories. One plausible explanation harks back to the space race era. During that time, the US and Russian governments fiercely competed to assert their dominance, leading to extensive investment in lunar exploration technologies by NASA, fully supported by the US government. Today, with no space race, Lunar missions are driven primarily by curiosity or the desire for historical recognition in space exploration. Consequently, modern probes and vehicles often utilize cheaper materials to reduce costs. In addition, many landers are developed by private companies rather than government agencies, which can impact the quality of construction and materials used. This shift in dynamics underscores the evolving landscape of space exploration. When it comes to commercial firms, their lunar landers have faced a 100% failure rate statistically. The incident involving Japan's IS space lander crashing on the moon in 2023 serves as a poignant example. Another challenge for landers and probes is the lunar environment itself. Communication proves troublesome due to the moon's interference with radio signals, often leading to probes landing off target. Moreover, the absence of an atmosphere on the moon complicates landing procedures. Unlike on Earth, parachutes are ineffective, leaving the craft's engine as the sole means of control. Pilots must navigate these challenges while contending with communication disruptions. If the probe is too heavy, a crash becomes inevitable. China's Chang'e 3 mission in 2013 marked the first successful soft lunar landing since Russia's Luna 24 in 1976. Previous attempts by other countries such as Russia have often failed, it became evident that a solution was needed to address these landing challenges. Fortunately, Japan stepped in to offer a solution. Their innovative approach promises to revolutionize lunar exploration, providing hope for future successful landings and advancements in space exploration. Influence of external force. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. JAXA has maintained a long-standing partnership with NASA suggesting that their innovative guidance system could prove invaluable for upcoming NASA missions. For instance, the Artemis program, slated to return humans to the moon, is likely to incorporate this groundbreaking technology. However, a significant setback occurred with SLIM on the moon, puzzling JAXA engineers. Despite meticulous design to ensure an upright landing, SLIM unexpectedly landed face down, baffling experts. Speculation abounds regarding external forces causing this mishap. Until this mystery is unraveled, future NASA missions face uncertainty. Understanding what transpired with SLIM is crucial for ensuring the success of future lunar endeavors. Currently, the circumstances surrounding SLIM's landing remain shrouded in mystery, 
prompting intensive investigation by JAXA and NASA scientists. The resolution of this enigma holds the key to unlocking the full potential of lunar exploration and ensuring the safety and success of future missions. The JAXA probe was meticulously designed to achieve a precise landing, employing innovative features to ensure a soft touchdown even at higher speeds. One such feature was its legs, which were equipped with crumple zones, akin to the safety mechanisms in modern cars, to absorb impact energy and guarantee a gentle landing. The designated landing site for this craft was a specific area within the Sholi Crater, distinguished by its 15-degree slope. JAXA engineers calculated coordinates down to minute fractions, aiming for 25.24889 degrees east and 13.31549 degrees south. Remarkably, the probe landed a mere 55 meters from the target point. This location was chosen strategically to maximize sun exposure, vital for the probe's operations. To accommodate the slope of the landing area, the rear legs of the probe were intentionally designed shorter than the front legs. In addition, just before touchdown, the vehicle was programmed to execute a precise 45-degree flip, ensuring a gentler impact regardless of its weight. The probe was equipped with two Mitsubishi engines and 12 attitude control thrusters, a configuration typically seen in lunar probes to facilitate smoother landings. These thrusters played a crucial role in controlling descent speed and maneuvering during landing. The landing sequence was meticulously planned in two stages. First, the landing thrusters and a smaller thruster would tilt the spacecraft, followed by the activation of five crushable aluminum lattice landing legs to cushion the final impact. Despite meticulous planning and advanced engineering, the probe unexpectedly landed on its nose, perplexing scientists with an unforeseen outcome. Speculated theories about SLIM's unexpected orientation. The unexpected outcome of the probe's landing ignited a whirlwind of speculation and conjecture, not only within the scientific community, but also beyond. Some pondered the notion of external forces at play, musing over the possibility that something beyond human control influenced the probe's descent. Others dared to delve into the realm of extraterrestrial involvement, imagining scenarios where beings from beyond our planet interfered with the mission. The mystery surrounding Slim's inverted landing position introduced a new layer of complexity to the mission, leaving JAXA scientists and engineers scratching their heads as they attempted to decipher the events leading to this unprecedented occurrence. Despite the meticulous design and careful planning invested in the probe, it seemed to have veered off course from its intended landing configuration, prompting profound questions about the lunar surface's mysteries. Speculations and theories concerning external forces or potential extraterrestrial intervention injected an intriguing element into the unfolding narrative, underscoring the necessity for a thorough investigation to unearth the truth behind Slim's unexpected orientation. While some conspiracy theorists, long fascinated by the notion of aliens on the moon, speculated about extraterrestrial involvement, such claims remained speculative rooted in the mystery shrouding the event, with the facts remaining elusive and unknown. The scientific community at JAXA found themselves confronted with a truly unique challenge, necessitating a thorough examination of both the data and circumstances surrounding the mission to unravel the mystery of SLIM's unforeseen landing position. As the probe rested on the lunar surface, its solar panels oriented towards the west, Awaiting the sun's return, JAXA's quest for answers intensified, adding layers to the unfolding puzzle. This pursuit of understanding not only piqued the curiosity of scientists, but also captured the imaginations of space enthusiasts worldwide. To truly grasp what occurred, JAXA hoped to obtain satellite imagery, possibly from resources like NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, offering a clearer picture of the situation. As we delve deeper into the mystery surrounding SLIM's unexpected landing orientation on the moon, it's essential to acknowledge that the success of this mission holds significant implications for the future of space exploration, underscoring the importance of unraveling this mystery. Features of SLIM Lander and its Rovers Despite its unexpected landing orientation, SLIM managed to fulfill some objectives by deploying two experimental rovers 
and utilizing as much onboard science equipment as possible before its battery depleted. These rovers, dubbed Lunar Excursion Vehicles or LEVs, possessed unique characteristics. Levy 1 resembled a frog, employing hopping movements for locomotion, while Levy 2, resembling a small ball, transformed into a wheeled camera that moved akin to the wagging motion of sea turtles on beaches. Remarkably, Levy 1 successfully communicated with ground stations and even received a test radio wave data transmission from its counterpart, Levy 2. This achievement showcased the adaptability and functionality of the rovers, providing valuable insights into potential future lunar exploration missions. However, JAXA has yet to receive any images from LEV-1. Instead, it was LEV-2 that managed to capture an image of SLIM on the lunar surface. Interestingly, the image revealed that SLIM's thrusters were positioned upwards, contrary to their intended downward orientation. Both rovers currently remain in standby mode, patiently awaiting the return of sunlight to power their systems. Calculations suggest that the lunar day will conclude around January 31st, signaling the resumption of activity for LEV-1 and LEV-2. It's worth noting that the construction of the SLIM spacecraft incurred a substantial cost of 18 billion yen, equivalent to $120 million. Initially weighing 200 kilograms, its weight increased to 700 kilograms when fully loaded with fuel, essential for powering the thrusters during the landing process. The development of the LEV-1 and LEV-2 rovers presented significant financial and technological challenges. LEV-2, now renamed Sora-Q, epitomizes this complexity. Weighing just 0.25 kg, it stands as the smallest and lightest rover ever constructed, comparable in size to a baseball. Developed through a collaboration between JAXA, Sony, Tomy, and Doshisha University, Sora-Q integrates toy technology, sensor robotics, and space technology from JAXA. Designed for autonomous operation and adaptation to the lunar environment, Sora-Q represents a remarkable feat of engineering. Shinichiro Sakai, SLIM's project manager, emphasized the groundbreaking nature of the mission, stating, We've proved that you can land wherever you want, rather than where you can. He expressed hope that this achievement would inspire future Japanese missions to explore uncharted lunar territories. Undoubtedly, this technological advancement signifies a triumph for Japan's space agency, potentially paving the way for the exploration of the far side of the moon by probes, rovers, or even astronauts. The Dark Side of the Moon The far side of the moon, often referred to as the dark side, has long been a subject of intrigue, surrounded by controversy and conspiracy theories. Over the years, numerous rumors and speculations about the presence of extraterrestrial beings have circulated, fueled by peculiar structures, unusual shapes, and reports of mysterious crashes from past lunar missions. Among the most enduring tales is the belief that NASA clandestinely dispatched astronauts to explore the far side, where they purportedly stumbled upon the wreckage of an alien spacecraft. According to these rumors, the astronauts allegedly recovered extraterrestrial remains for analysis. However, NASA vehemently refutes such claims, asserting that their last manned mission to the moon, Apollo 17, marked the culmination of their lunar exploration efforts. Despite NASA's denials, the allure of the far side of the moon persists, shrouded in enigma and prompting continued speculation about what mysteries it may hold. Solar Power Collection from space. The question arises, did Japan's mission to the moon serve solely to advance planetary landing technology, or were there other motives at play? Indeed, there's a compelling possibility that the Japanese aimed to explore space-based solar power. On January 11th, the United States Space Agency revealed a study exploring the feasibility of harnessing solar energy in space and transmitting it to Earth via microwave beams. This innovative concept aims to establish a clean energy source. While the exact costs remain uncertain, experts recognize its potential benefits. If successful, space-based solar power could revolutionize energy production, aiding nations in achieving net-zero greenhouse gas emissions. This technology holds promise not only for the United States, but for any nation embracing it. 
Japan's mission to the moon, therefore, may signify a pivotal step towards realizing a sustainable energy future, showcasing the country's commitment to innovation and environmental stewardship. Harnessing solar energy in orbit presents a unique opportunity due to the absence of Earth's atmosphere, ensuring the reception of the purest form of sunlight. The notion of capturing such pristine energy and transmitting it wirelessly to even the most remote regions holds immense appeal. Space agencies like NASA and JAXA are actively pursuing this technology, recognizing its potential to revolutionize global energy distribution. SLIM's solar technology has furnished valuable data, laying the groundwork for future advancements. However, skeptics raise concerns about safety and the exorbitant costs associated with developing and maintaining such systems. Predictions suggest that this conceptual technology could yield power at a staggering cost of 61 cents per kilowatt hour, far surpassing the affordability of terrestrial solar plants, which typically produce energy at 2 to 5 cents per kilowatt hour. Despite the skepticism, the prospect of creating the ultimate solar energy collector remains tantalizing. Yet questions linger about the practicality and true benefits of such an endeavor. Will it genuinely serve as a sustainable energy solution, or will it become another drain on government resources? Balancing innovation with feasibility is paramount as we navigate the potential of space-based solar power. Recently, there has been a surge of interest in space exploration, with an increasing number of nations venturing into lunar landings, evoking a sense of a new space race. Fortunately, JAXA's pioneering landing with SLIM promises to pave the way for future space explorers, regardless of their origin. In an official statement, JAXA expressed its commitment to prolonging SLIM's mission beyond its initial expectations. They emphasized the ongoing preparations for recovery, aiming to gather additional technical and scientific data. These preparations include readying for high-resolution spectroscopic observations, contingent upon improved solar illumination conditions, and SLIM's recovery through solar power. As we await SLIM's resumption of activity under sunlight, the space exploration community celebrates this significant achievement. It marks a triumph that will be etched in history, demonstrating humanity's collective progress in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Until then, the anticipation builds, with hopes pinned on the wealth of data SLIM will uncover upon the sun's return, a testament to the boundless potential of space exploration. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Space exploration experts have continued to marvel at Japan's moon sniper mission and at how we've finally found what NASA was hiding. Amid the vast, desolate expanse of the lunar surface, an unexplainable event unfolded, shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Slim, the meticulously crafted probe engineered by JAXA, embarked on a mission fraught with precision and purpose. Its objective, to gracefully touch down on the moon's rugged terrain, a feat that would redefine the boundaries of space exploration. However, fate had other plans in store. Despite the intricate design and careful planning, Slim found itself in a perplexing predicament. Instead of landing upright as intended, the probe inexplicably ended up face down, defying all expectations and baffling the team at JAXA. Speculation ran rampant as experts grappled with the enigma. Was it the result of an external force, or perhaps a flaw in the meticulously crafted design? Until this conundrum was unraveled, the implications loomed large not just for JAXA, but for the future of space exploration itself. As the world awaited answers, the significance of this anomaly became increasingly apparent. Slim's journey, initially intended to be a triumph of human ingenuity, had now become a tantalizing enigma, beckoning explorers and dreamers alike to uncover the truth hidden within the lunar landscape. What do you think may be the cause of Slim's orientation while landing? Let us know in the comments below. The new images captured by Slim Rover. One of the foremost questions that arose was how Slim managed to recover after landing upside down and losing power. Fortunately, the lander had a backup plan in place a solar panel capable of generating electricity when exposed to sunlight. However, due to its incorrect orientation upon landing, the solar panel couldn't receive adequate sunlight. Recognizing this predicament, 
The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency decided to temporarily shut down the lander and await a change in the sun's angle. As the western side of the moon gradually bathed in sunlight, the solar panels sprang into action, generating power and automatically restarting the lander. JAXA swiftly announced their success in re-establishing communication with SLIM via the X social media platform and resumed operations. Additionally, the lander captured and transmitted new images of the lunar surface using its multi-band camera. One striking image featured a close-up of a rock, playfully nicknamed Toy Poodle by JAXA, situated near the lander. Another image showcased a mosaic of the lunar landscape adorned with rocks of various sizes and shapes, each bestowed with whimsical nicknames like Chopinuinu, Pomeranian, and Shih Tzu by JAXA scientists. These images not only unveil the diverse and intricate lunar terrain near the Sholi crater, but also offer insights into the location and condition of the lander itself. Remarkably, SLIM's precision landing placed it just 55 meters away from its intended target, securing its place in history as the most accurate lunar landing to date. This achievement holds immense significance, as it provides a unique opportunity for scientists to study the moon's mantle, potentially unraveling mysteries surrounding its origin and evolution, the future prospects of the mission. With the Moon Sniper Explorer now back in action, anticipation mounts regarding its future endeavors. JAXA provides insights into the current status of the lander and its probes, shedding light on the mission's expected duration and scope. As per JAXA, the lander possesses a limited amount of propellant, precluding the possibility of a secondary landing maneuver. Consequently, repositioning the lander, as previously suggested by some, appears unlikely. Instead, it will remain stationed in its current location, diligently observing and analyzing the lunar surface using its multi-band camera and other instruments. Notably, the lander is equipped with advanced tools including a laser multimeter, a laser rangefinder, and a thermometer. These instruments enable the measurement of various parameters such as distance, shape, and temperature across the lunar terrain. With these capabilities at its disposal, the Moon Sniper Explorer continues to unveil the mysteries of the Moon, promising further discoveries in the realm of lunar exploration. The upcoming endeavor is slated to endure roughly six months, concluding by July 2024, coinciding with the onset of the lunar night, when our lander faces the prospect of losing power once more. Notably, the two probes, once detached from the lander, continue their operational stride, maintaining communication with Earth. Positioned approximately 100 meters from the lander, the transmitter probe dutifully relays signals back to our home planet, while its counterpart, the mini-rover probe, ventures about 50 meters from the lander, traversing the lunar terrain, capturing vivid images with its versatile camera that can shift between forms, from a sphere to a disk. The mini-rover's tenure is anticipated to span three months, culminating in April 2024, as its battery wanes. Both the Moon Sniper Explorer and its associated probes aim to amass unparalleled insights into the lunar region proximate to the Sholi Crater, where the Moon's mantle lies exposed. This repository of data promises to illuminate the enigmatic genesis and progression of the Moon, juxtaposed against Earth's trajectory. Moreover, the findings may hold the key to identifying vital resources such as water and other elements pivotal for sustaining human habitation, be it as potable water or potential fuel reservoirs, heralding a promising vista for future lunar exploration endeavors. JAXA's Milestones JAXA's prominence on the global stage has been steadily rising ever since it earned the trust of esteemed partners like NASA and the European Space Agency. One significant feat was its substantial contribution to the International Space Station, ISS. Moreover, Japan has committed to aiding in the construction of multiple modules for the Gateway Luna Station, further solidifying its position as a reliable collaborator in space exploration. Amidst these endeavors, JAXA is diligently crafting plans for its ambitious missions. The upcoming Slim Landing mission represents just a glimpse of the exciting ventures in the pipeline. Notably, JAXA is gearing up for an imminent voyage to Mars, 
The Martian Moon Exploration Spacecraft, slated for launch in 2024, will embark on a journey to study the Martian moons, Deimos and Phobos, gathering invaluable samples and data to deepen our understanding of the Red Planet and its celestial companions. For this mission, JAXA will utilize its powerful H-3 launch vehicle, known for its remarkable capabilities. The H-3 is a cutting-edge two-stage rocket fueled by liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen, enabling efficient propulsion. Its first stage boasts three robust engines, while the second stage is driven by a single engine, ensuring optimal performance during ascent. Although the initial launch of the H-3 rocket in March 2023 showed promise, encountered a setback when the second stage failed to ignite as commanded, marking the test launch as unsuccessful. However, JAXA remains undeterred, with plans underway for a subsequent flight, tentatively scheduled for February 2024, aiming for a triumphant outcome. Excitingly, amidst these developments, a colossal project looms on the horizon. With New Glenn, an even more massive endeavor currently under construction, poised to take center stage in the exploration of Mars. With its grand scale and ambitious objectives, New Glenn represents the next frontier in space exploration. New Glenn stands as a colossal behemoth among launch boosters, towering at a staggering height of 98 meters. Its immense power is harnessed through seven formidable engines propelling the first stage, complemented by an additional two engines in the second stage. This impressive configuration enables New Glenn to propel nearly 50 tons of payload into Earth's orbit, marking a significant leap forward in space transportation capabilities. Anticipation mounts for the inaugural flight of New Glenn slated for approximately August 2024, poised to carry NASA's Escapade Mars mission into the vast expanse of space. NASA's decision to entrust this groundbreaking rocket with such a crucial mission underscores the agency's commitment to pushing the boundaries of exploration. As space exploration continues to evolve and captivate imaginations worldwide, Japan's innovative landing technology and NASA's unparalleled probe quality and launch expertise promise a future brimming with exciting possibilities for upcoming space missions. Japan's ambitious aspirations. Japan has been fervently seeking to bolster its presence in space endeavors, forging strategic alliances with the United States to counterbalance China's burgeoning military and technological prowess, extending even into the celestial domain. Actively engaged in NASA's Artemis program, Japan aspires to dispatch one of its astronauts to the lunar surface, marking a significant milestone in its space exploration endeavors. Despite Japan's ambitious aspirations, JAXA has encountered various setbacks, notably a launch mishap in March involving its flagship rocket, the H-3 designed to rival commercial providers like SpaceX in cost efficiency. Undeterred, JAXA remains resolute, highlighting its cutting-edge precision technology as a vital asset for future lunar exploration, particularly in navigating the rugged terrain of the moon's poles, rich with potential resources such as oxygen, fuel, and water. Looking ahead, JAXA envisions collaborative efforts with India, planning a joint unmanned exploration mission to the lunar poles slated for 2025, underscoring its commitment to advancing lunar exploration and harnessing the vast potential of space resources. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.